Yo guys, what's going on? Spoofy with the car guys. I'm here with Zane. A lot of you guys requested uh, a deck profile interview with him. So I figured I'd get him on. He goes to locals with us here at Super Games. And um, you literally just got off of a top 64 at Nats. And then you go into Charlotte, was it? ARG Charlotte. And you went undefeated in Swiss. You went 7 0, then tied your last two, obviously. And then one top 16 and one top 8. Or well, everybody knows what happened. Top 8. Yeah, much, top eight I didn't actually have a match. But yeah. But I won. You, you ended up uh, playing Patrick James in the uh, top four. Who yeah, eventually and I, and I won. Was, and I was terrible. I mean, it shit happens, dude. But I mean, like, congrats on that. You're on a roll now. Two in a row. Um, I always knew if you were going to travel more, you're going to start doing a lot better. So glad to see you're actually finally starting to do that. Well, but tell us about your weekend, what you played, what your matchups were, and your overall experience at Charlotte. Well, I played Brevis, and I played. Uh, in Swiss, I played four Necros, uh, two Klee, one Satellar, and one Hero, and I went 7-0 and then drew the last two rounds. Um, and then in top 16, I played against uh, Junior, uh, Junior Gorson. He goes to locals with us, and he was playing Klee, and I won against him. And then top eight, my opponent got DQ'd, and then top four, I played against Necros on the on stream, and I lost because I suck. And, uh, and then third, fourth, I played against Necros, and I won. So. Who'd you play in the top four? Was it the, the RF? Hunter guy, uh, is that what his name is? Uh, his name, I think it was like Russ or something. It's some, I don't remember. I think I think that's who yeah, it the guy the, through the decades, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah that guy, yeah. whoever. But like. Um, but it was pretty cool to actually hear. Everybody was like telling me while I was at work, you know, oh my God, Zane's 405. And I'm like, oh my God, like, I didn't know Zane went. So it was pretty cool to hear that. Did you happen to have any hard matchups during Swiss at all? Uh, or did you really just swift 2 0 at a lot of people? I think the hardest matchup I played was round one. I'm playing with my friend Michi. He goes to Super Games as well. Uh, he's playing Tower Turbo, and he, uh, he, that deck's just scary. Um, that he, deck is very scary. Game two, he summoned two towers, and it was. Just it was destruction, point. dude. Like I, I, I just lost. But, like I, I ended up winning game one and three. So yeah. well, that's good. That's good. Well, let's see the list that you played. I know a lot of people had questions as to why you played certain cards in your deck, and so I figured we'd get you on to kind of go over why you played certain cards. Okay. All right. Let's so uh, start. I played uh, for the monsters that aren't bringing this. I played uh, one tour guide, uh -huh. one mathematician, and two crane crane. Um, at when Trish was in the format, uh, these cards were like tour guide was still like all right like it wasn't like amazing but uh crane crane gets a lot better without trish in the format because it's a card you can hold in your hand um and it's like a very very powerful card uh it but you had to hold it in your hand so like you could just get trished um before but now you can't get trished and also it helps with the one seer um when the one seer is engraved it's another way to get it back uh it's really it's just really powerful and mathematician like i think this card i probably just shouldn't have played this card but it helps with like the ratios and like getting to Getting started, it's good to open with, but like outside of that, it's pretty bad. Um, okay. But those are the monsters that aren't Burning Abyss. And then for Burning Abyss, I played uh, I played three Skarm, um, uh, three Grasp, obviously. Um, I played three Cagna. Uh, I played this in Nationals as well. Uh, Explain the cat why you play three Cagna, because I know nobody plays this card. Uh, it's purely because of this card, uh, Good and Evil. Um, it, it just makes it where you have more good cards to mill. Um, it, you want to like increase your chances of getting lucky. Essentially, like the better chances of getting lucky you have, and like the more games you're gonna win. Um, like I can just I can just like make a Dante and just randomly mill this and send this. And this card is like as a plus one because um, you you ditch a graph and you search card and you get a card off graph. Like it's just it's a free a free card um, in your graveyard. But Cagna's okay. Cagna's really good. Also like 1500 is not bad. Um, you can send you can also send Traveler and Lake, which is neat. Um, I played two Rubik. Uh, this gets better uh, without without uh, with two Dante. You want to make you need to make Virgil's more so like um, like especially with Traveler. Like. So you make Virgil the focal point of the deck now. Yeah, yeah. Vir Virgil's a lot better now than it was. Uh, well, it's not that it's better. It's just like you need to make more. Sometimes you need to make Burning Abyss uh, monsters uh, from the extra deck and. Like you already have the two Dantes okay. in play, so like the virtual is good. Um, and then those are all the ones I play multiples of. Uh, and then one of them I play the one Seer, obviously. Uh, it's a one. Uh, one Farfa. You don't need more than one Farfa, especially with uh, with Jin being banned. Like the only reason to play more than one is because of Jin. Um, but you don't need the second one. Uh, I played Barbar, obviously. Like Barbar. It kind of needs to be banned. It, 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 I don't think it needs to be banned, but it's like <laughs> it's really good. Um, uh, Alec, Alec came up a lot. Um, it's really good because uh, 
Flying C was actually kind of popular at the event, um, and this is an out to Flying C. Uh, you you negate it, and then you summon like one of these, uh, uh, and you can overlay with the Flying C. Um, also, you can uh, you can Libic and then summon a uh, Rubik, and or, yeah, that's the last one I played Libic, but you can Libic and summon a uh, uh, Rubik. Um, but I guess that doesn't matter about Flying C. But you can synchro with it, um, but. Alex just negates Flying C, and it's like, I, it should have negated a Valkyris and on my uh, feature match, but it, it didn't, because we'll, we'll I'm bad. You. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, then I played one Livic, uh, so that's like, uh, that's nine, 16 burning of his monsters. Okay. Um, so by 20 so, monsters all together? Uh, yep, so that's all the monsters, and then for spells, uh, I played three Upstar Goblins, like, I, at first, like, in Burning Abyss, I wasn't playing this, uh, like, in Nationals, I didn't play it, but, like, with the Seer at one, um, you want to get to your good Burning Abyss faster, um, and the life points doesn't matter a whole lot, um, it's just, you want to get to the good Burning Abyss monsters faster, and mm -hmm. I think it's, it, you'd have to play this card in the ARG format. Uh, and for the one of spells, I play Foolish, uh, Book of Moon, Soul Charge, and Good and Evil. Uh, Foolish is like probably just the best card in the deck. Honestly, uh, it gets it's it's really good. Everything. It plays through traps really well, and like like you send the graph, like you don't have to use your your normal summon. Like it's this is this is really strong, and then like uh, Soul Charge is just a blowout. Um, it's it gets back the Sears, and like the pro like the problem with the deck. Uh, is if you get two Dantes in Seer Engrave in the ARG format, you don't have a way to like keep going unless you have Soul Charge or like Crane Crane um, to get back the Seer and keep going. Because like once they're all in Grave, your engine's like basically dead. Um, and Soul Charge also Soul Charge just makes really big fields. It's really good. Um, and then uh, Good and Evil for the Cagna. Obviously, it's amazing. Uh, you can search uh, Lake or Traveler as well. Uh, Book of Moon is is really good. I, I think this format like it sucks against Klee. But against everything else, it's really good. Um, it it's a it's like almost everything you want in a card. Like you, it's a defensive card while also being like an offensive card. You can force effects through. You can uh, you can attack over big monsters. Like it's just it's obviously it's really good. Um, but but, but, but I, yeah, and I side out against Klee though because like it doesn't really do anything against Klee. Um, and then that's all the spells and then uh, trap cards uh, the best trap in the deck uh, it's not even like a trap card it's like a it's like another it, it, it's just it's just more it, it just keeps go keeps you going like uh, the problem against necros is when they dweller brio you um, like they he did on the stream but like that this helps that that problem a lot because like you can just bring back all the materials and like it you don't lose any advantage and also just it makes really big fields it it's a searchable just it's almost a defensive card too, because you can just wall up and like it's, it's just amazing. I don't get why people don't play this card. Like, I should have played three of Nats too. Like it's just that good, um, but it's really good. Uh, I'll play two Lake. Um, Lake's like a lot better now. Like it's good against the Necroz deck because they don't have Trish to negate it. So like, it just kills their whole field. But but uh, Lake's Lake's really good. But you don't want to play. I don't want to play three because I never want to draw more than one. And it also. It also like sometimes gets stuck in your back row like if you're not careful. So like, it's mm -hmm. it's, it's good though. It's Lake. Um, then two Karma Cut and two Regeki Break for the only discards. Uh, I, at first I was playing three Karma Cut because Karma Cut's like better against it's good, overall good against everything. But like I expected Klee to be like super popular and like um, this doesn't necessarily stop towers from coming down. Like whereas like Regeki Break could stop the Scout from like getting towers um, and Regeki Break was overall better against Klee. Um, and I think I'd probably stick with this. Like, even though Klee wasn't as popular as I thought, um, I think this is a good ratio for okay. discards. Uh, and then one of traps. I played one fiend griefing. Like, I would play three if Klee wasn't a deck. Like, this card is really bad against Klee because you have to target a monster in your grave. Um, but it's I cited another one. Like, uh, this card is just it's really it's really really strong against everything else. Um, and I played one warning uh, to stop like Denko and also like stops it. You can negate the summon of Dweller, which like Dweller is like the only problem with the Necroz matchup. Like if they aren't making Dweller, then you're usually not losing. Um, and same with this card. This card's uh, split. Interesting. Uh, this card, it's it's like Horn of Heaven is like Black Horn of Heaven, but also negates normal summons. So like you can stop Denko Seca, you can stop uh, Manju Sinju, you can stop you know Tor guy, like whatever. Uh, oh, it's, 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 so it's just also, another warning. It's, it's just another warning, but it, your it, but it also discards. like it also has synergy with this card because um, you can like have these set. You can like tribute your Dante with stuff under it, and then you can travel it back. Like more than likely, if you're stopping the normal summon, like they probably won't keep going, like um, unless their hands like really good. Um, mm -hmm. 
and like against like Satellers, like it stops Altair, and like they can't alpha it because Altair is not on the field yet, and like it's it's really strong. And then the last card I played, which is probably just the best card of the weekend, like was Crush Card. Um, the only the only reason I didn't uh, play Crush Card at Nationals, like. They could send uh, Necros could just send Trish, and if they had Cycle Strit, like they could just destroy you. But like now that Trish is uh, Trish's bands, like this card is a lot better. Um, it's good against everything, but the mirror and the mirror wasn't like super popular. So this card is just amazing. Um, that's it for the main deck. Um, what about the side and the extra deck? Uh, I guess I'll do extra first. Uh, uh, rest in peace, uh, third Dante. <laughs> I played two Dante and two Virgil. Um, you need the second one now. Um, cause yeah, you're playing a, too. Yeah, because there's a lot of times, like like I said, with the Rubik, you need to uh, just make a Burning Abyss monster because you have more than two Burning Abyss monsters on the mm -hmm. field because of like travel and stuff. Um, also, I only played two Downard. Um, this wasn't necessarily because like three Downard never comes up. It's like because against Klee, um, th this was like the only card like I could cut like because against Klee, I needed these because like a lot of times if they made towers like you could. A lot of games you can win um, by nightmare sharking and bar barring them, like for like with Lots Traveler, because yeah. there's like I'll show you a loop with like you can infinitely bar bar them. You bar bar like all your cards and like it's I don't know, it's it's crazy. Um, and I played Alucard. Alucard was all right. I think I made it like twice. I don't. I don't it's not that good. Um, Asagolum it, it's the OTK. Like you need it. Um, Zen mains. I made it against in my top 16 match against Junior. Uh, it's out. Shadow Mirror. It came up. That's the only time I made it. Uh, Engineer is good. Um, I don't think I really need to explain. Engineer. Uh, Giga Brilliant. Uh, the main. The only reason I played this is because I have an out to towers in my side deck that involves this. So I'll explain that in a second. Uh, uh, Fortune Tune. This came up. Uh, Burning Abyss like takes like I realized that Nationals like Burning Abyss takes a while to play. Um, like it, it just the games last a while. So like if you happen to go into time, this card comes up sometimes. And I I think I made it like three times over the weekend. So. Okay. Uh, and then uh, Utopic Future. This card's really good. Uh, it's you just, and Noah the only like, two people I've seen actually play that card. Like that card comes up a lot. Um, mm -hmm. it, you can overlay it on the downers and then get your Dantes that are under the downers effects. Like there's just a lot of. Things. Did you ever go into that in the tournament? Uh, yeah, I actually. Uh, I it's I got back Traveler and Lake and then like there's just a lot like a lot like I it came up like a lot like I I uh, attacked the two of Valkyries took the Valkyries like there's there's just there's there's cool like interactions with that card. Uh, and what about the side deck? And the side deck I played uh, for the monsters. I sided uh, three Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit. Uh, the only reason this is in here and not MST is because going second against Klee, I wanted to have a way to stop them from summoning towers. Yeah. Um, and most people don't like if they have waver if they have wavering eyes, they can potentially play around this, but they won't because uh, they'll activate the one scout. Like they could play around it if they activate scout, and activate another scale, and then then pay eight for scout, and then they can play around it. But most of the time, they'll just activate the scout, and pay eight, and then I can ghost over and their hand has to be like the nuts to like still summon towers. Yeah. Uh, like if they're not summoning towers. I'm not losing to Klee, like that's basically how it goes. Uh, okay. So uh, then two flying C. Um, this was for Satellers and the Mirror. Uh, this is really good, along with Maxi. Maxi is also for the Mirror and Satellers. Uh, there's I, I I was doing three Maxi, but like this card was just I just wanted like more like versatile cards, I guess. Like uh, I wanted like four four cards. I, I've been like flying C is really good um, in the Mirror, obviously, and also good against Satellers. They can't make Diamond. Um, and I cited uh, one dark hole or one regeki, one dark hole. Um, this was for heroes. Heroes like Shadows was at one, so like heroes were gonna be played. Um, and these cards like just out dark law, um, and like the, it, it's just it's always an out, and it's also like good against the tellers because uh, you can kill the diamond. Like uh, mm -hmm. they're they're not like amazing cards, but like their regeki goes in against like necros as well. Um, sometimes outing their field like, isn't easy. Uh, and then I cited one, uh, Terminus the very Mist. The this Fugis was Mount. the out for the towers, uh, Yeah, this is out, it's out to towers. Uh, it's like a searchable out because I played three Cagna, so you can send it. Um, the way it works is you make a Dante 
like it's not it's not very hard to make a Dante and a Giga Brilliant or a Virgil and a Giga Brilliant. So like you make this, uh, and then you have this engraved. You banish this. This will go to this will go up by 800. So it'll go to 33, and then Giga Brilliant makes it go to 36, and then it loses 500 from towers. So it'll be, one so, so it'll be 31, and it could attack over the towers. Yeah, because so. when I was watching the stream, every single commentator had no idea what the hell that, why that card was in your side deck, and they were just completely <laughs> dumbfounded. Right. Yeah. And it's, finally, somebody said it's an out of towers, and like, oh. Yeah, well, yeah, that might be yeah, yeah, it outs, it outs towers. It's a searchable out. Like I didn't want to play like honest and stuff because like those cards just suck in general. Like unless they have towers, so like yeah. I, I was considering playing honest and like, but I just wanted a searchable out and like it it, it worked. It worked. Uh, I only they only some only round one was the only round they summoned towers against me and um, he summoned two and I lost. But <laughs> you know, <laughs> I never actually like use this card's effect the weekend, but it was there to have the L. Uh, I cited two breakthrough skills because Necroz is, uh, this card is really good against Necroz because, like I said, the only time you lose the Necroz is when they have a Dweller, and this is really good against Dweller, obviously. Uh, and then same uh, cited these, uh, they're both a one, and they both are auto wins against why, Yeah, Necroz. why not play them if they're uh, one? And they yeah, good like this goes in against a lot of decks, both of them go in against like, most decks, actually. Uh, and then Fiend Griefing, uh, a second one, because this card is absolutely amazing against everything but Klee, and I, I kind of wish I decided to, honestly. Like, this card, it's an engine card and a defensive card at the same time, which is just really, really strong. Um, but I can show you the... Yeah, show us that little um, the bar thing. Bar thing doing, the uh, bar bar, like, the 2900 danger zone. If you watch, like, my Nationals deck profile, like, I, I'll show you, like, it's it's similar, um, but uh, I'll explain the loop. Uh, it's basically the same thing, but you have you have these. Like, this is how you can beat Klee, potentially. Uh, you have a bunch of cards in Grave, and you, like, a bunch of, like, Burning Abyss, you can uh, lake whatever they whatever they have. Um, it, like this is assuming they have a towers and you like have to burn them for game. You can lake whatever they have um, and then add these back. Um, or and you, you lake whatever they have and also destroy the bar bar or the towers destroys the bar bar like one of the two and then you banish cards from your grave and then you can lake back everything and like you can just infinitely like bar bar them um, or I mean you traveler back everything you can infinitely bar bar them and like it just it's like another way to win because you can make bar bars and nightmare sharks and like potentially beat them through damage like it it's like it's kind of like a last resort thing but like have you ever done it even in testing uh, yes I have in testing but I've, I've, I didn't do it in tournament. Um, it, it comes up occasionally. Uh, I've done it before where I've just won the game because like they because I have other because I'm drawing like I'm drawing a card every turn. It's even better like when you have uh, this and a Virgil. Like it's neat because like you can destroy whatever they you can destroy whatever they have and also destroy the Virgil and then you draw a card um, for the Virgil and then you travel you travel it back you know and you can keep doing that. You keep on drawing cards and you keep drawing cards. So like you're going to draw trap cards to like to like out their out their pendulum summons and stuff. Uh, like whatever so like they just have the towers so like you don't that's all you have to deal with is is just the, doing the damage like okay if that makes sense like it's it, and every other card just gets rid of everything else. yeah yeah okay like, it comes up like like almost never but like it's cool to like know I guess it, just in case the time does come up yeah right yeah that, that's the deck that I played um, I thought bringing this would be the best deck to play at the event um, even even with Seer at one even and Seer at one and Dante at two like um, no Trish and no Jen makes the deck just so much better um, it's it also, just I feel like I'm better at Burning Abyss than any any other like any other deck that I would play. Um, yeah. Like I feel like, I, but obviously like on feature I messed up. Like I don't know. I was kind of like nervous, I guess, on feature, and I also like didn't eat the whole day and didn't get much sleep. But like it, I'm not trying to make excuses, I guess. But. But still, man, you, you still yeah. came in third out of, what was it? It was probably one of the biggest ARGs they had. was like, what, 280 yeah. players or something yeah, like that? Like, almost 300? I think two, 280, I think. That's, that's, that's ridiculous. So, I mean, congratulations on that. Uh, are you going to be going to um, Philly yeah. in a couple yeah, weeks? Yeah, I love you. Well, We'll definitely see you there too. Hopefully, uh, you do very well there. You'll definitely see more of him on our channel, guys. Uh, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, do all that kind of fun stuff. Yep. Congratulations again. Thanks. Uh, and we'll see you guys later. Peace. Thanks.